creating in this timeless movement is an acknowledgement of really paying attention to how and why we get inspired and celebrating storytelling and oral tradition. We're in a very highly digital age and some things get lost, but it's not, it's not that we have lost everything, it's that we have to rethink it. So part of what you're gonna experience tonight is some storytelling through music and an understanding of why some of us even got to where we are today. So, Mr. Loud, if you could cue us into that, two choruses, instrumental, rhythm section. And we're gonna hear a wonderful story from Mr. Robert Nett about how a particular song affected him when he was young. This particular song uh, came to me uh, by way of a relative of mine who wanted me to attend a football game. And I did. Uh, and after going through the rehearsals with them, this one song, uh, Hard Times, was being played by uh, a fellow from the neighborhood, Charles Nicholson. And he was playing the trumpet with the lead part. Now, if anybody is familiar with the song, it's a saxophone that's playing the lead. But in this case, this trumpet player, who were older than I, I was in what, eighth grade, going into high school. He was a senior, getting out of high school. But he had the, the sound that I wanted to be able to do. So I wanted to be able to go the next year in this high school. And I think after hearing that song, I was sold to joining band. Because I'm sooner or later going to learn to play. This guy did. It touched me that much. And years afterwards, well, I did get a chance to play that song. And enjoyed it as much as I possibly could. Then came to Seattle and Clarence Acox had his band play that particular song. And naturally that thought, of the first time I heard it, came to my head. But that is something I don't think I would ever forget in terms of playing this, this one song, Hard Times. Thank you, Mr. Nat. Thank you. Now we're going to let Seattle Jazz us take us there. We're going to hear their version. 